The Holy Idul Azha is being celebrated today in different parts of Bangladesh along with Saudi Arabia. Idul Azha is being celebrated in 40 villages of four upazilas in Chatpur. The Eid congregation was held at the Hamidiya Fazil Madrasa, crown of Shadur Dop Dorbar Sharif in Haji Ganj this morning. However, people had to suffer much due to rain since morning. Eid is being celebrated today in some upazilas in Dinajpur as well. More than 150 worshippers performed Salat in Eid congregation held at a community center in Bashuniapati in the morning. Eidul Azha is also being celebrated a day earlier in 24 villages including Badarpur Darbar of Potuakhali. The main Eid congregation was held at Badarpur Darbar Sharif Masjid this morning. Beside, Eid is being celebrated in 20 villages in Shatkira. Along with Saudi Arabia, the Holy Idul Azha is being celebrated today in various countries of the Middle East, Asia and Europe, Africa and America with great enthusiasm and sacrifice. After all the rituals of Hajj, the Hajj pilgrims are celebrating Idul Azha and sacrificing cattle. Eid congregation held in masjids in Middle Eastern countries including the Holy Kaaba Sharif in Mecca, Al Masjid on Nababi and Medina. Earlier, the pilgrims spent the whole night in Mustalifa and collect stones from there, returning to the Mina in the morning and throwing them at the symbolic devil. After that, the pilgrims left Ihram with sacrifice. Finally, the main ritual of Hajj will end with the farewell tawaf of Kaaba Sharif. Meanwhile, more than 2 million pilgrims gathered at Arafah in Mecca for Hajj on Tuesday. Kor e Shohit Idga Maidan in Dinajpur and Sholakya Idga in Kishorganj are getting ready for Idul Azha Jamaat. Last minute preparations are underway. Impeccable security measures are being taken to avoid an untoward situation. This time, the 197th Eid Jamaat will be held at this historical Sholakya ground in Kishorganj. Hundreds and thousands of devotees are expected to take part. Thousands of devotees will come from far and wide to perform Eid prayers at the historic Sholakya. Eid Jamaat will be held at Kor e Shohid Eidga Maidan in Dinajpur at 8.30 a.m. A 40-kilometer tailback has been seen in Tangail due to an increase in number of vehicles on the dhaka tangail Bongobundu Bridge Highway since Wednesday morning. The highway is witnessing traffic congestion from the Bongobundu Bridge east side to the Ghorinda area of tangail Shodor Upuzila. Along with heavy rain, a combination of road crashes, vehicle breakdowns and the temporary suspension of toll collection since 4 a.m., this congestion is causing immense suffering to homebound Eid holidaymakers. A record 55,400 vehicles crossed the Bongobundu Bridge in 24 hours with a collection of a toll of Taka 3 crore 58 lakh. Meanwhile, on the last day of the Eid journey, although there was no traffic at Paturia Ghat, the passengers had to suffer due to the rain as the number of vehicles and passengers are less since morning. Goods laden trucks are crossing there. Even on the last day of Eid trip, home goers' pressure was seen in the train. Passenger pressure has also been increased at Komlapur railway station, as the demand for standing tickets is high in intercity trains since morning. The pressure in commuter trains has also been increased. All the seats are full of passengers in the train standing on the platform. Standing ticket passengers also entering into the trains. Kamlapur Railway Station authorities said 25% of the total seats sold are standing tickets, which are being sold from the Kamlapur counter. People are gathering in front of the counter since early morning to get the standing tickets. Many passengers can buy standing tickets from the main gate of the station as well. A total of 53 pairs of trains, including Eid Special, will run on Eid's journey from today. Among these, three pairs are special.
All the rain disrupts the last-minute crowd hits cattle markets today. Small and medium-sized cows are at the peak of demand. So the price is asking a bit more. However, sellers claim that they are not getting their desired prices. There are about 3,500 permanent and temporary cattle markets in eight districts of Rangpur Division. At the last minute, the buyers and sellers are in the hot spot of the market. Although the demand for bigger cattle is low, the sale of small and medium-sized cows has been increased. There are 22 cattle markets in Khulna district. The cattle markets have got momentous at the last moment. Cattle markets have also got momentum in Gaibandha. There have been complaints of collecting extra money in the name of profit at Doryapur cattle markets in Shodor. Meanwhile, there are five cattle markets in Silat city and 37 markets in the district. DMP Commissioner Khandogar Golam Farooq has said police are on alert to prevent crimes including theft and robbery in the empty Dhaka during Eid. He said this at a briefing held at the National Idga ground. The DNP commissioner said it is dangerous to keep valuables at home, so he requested not to keep them in empty homes. DNP commissioner said there is no specific information about terrorist attack on Eid, but everyone including CTTC is on alert. He also said that DMP along with cyber unit is working to prevent the activities of any evil forces. Eid holiday means additional tourist pressure. In the meantime, most of the hotels, motels and guest houses in Rangamati and Bandarbon have started booking in advance. Hoteliers are expecting that there will be an expected arrivals of tourists during the Eid holidays. Nature lovers always flock to various scenic spots of Rangamati to enjoy it. Thirsty travelers flock to nature to get rid of the daily hustle and bustle of the city life. Eid holiday on top of that, all in all, Rangamati is a kingdom of lakes, hills and clouds ready to welcome tourists. Meanwhile, Bandarwan's tourist centers Nilgiris, Nilachal, Meghalaya and Shoilaprapath have been decorated anew for Eid. This time, tourism-related businessmen hope to recover the previous losses. However, there is a ban on tourist travel in Ruanchori, Ruma and Thanchi Upozilas due to security reasons. Meanwhile, tourist city Cox's Bazar is also ready to welcome tourists. The U.S. State Department has said there has never been any kind of discussion with Bangladesh about St. Martin Island. U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller gave the information at a regular press briefing on Monday. U.S. local time, responding to a question about St. Martin, Miller said Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has alleged that the U.S. wants to occupy St. Martin and the main opposition BNP wants to sell it to the U.S., stating that this allegation is not correct, he said. Respecting the sovereignty of Bangladesh, there was never any discussion about taking control of St. Martin Island. He also said the United States values the partnership with Bangladesh. He said that efforts are being made to strengthen the relationship between the two countries by working together to establish democracy, including supporting free and fair elections. We respect Bangladesh's sovereignty and we have never engaged in any conversations about taking over St. Martin's Island. We value our partnership with Bangladesh. We strive to bolster our relationship by working together to promote democracy, including by supporting free and fair elections. Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momen has said Amnesty International's appeal to the United Nations about Bangladesh's peacekeeping forces is purposeful. He said this while replying to the questions of the newsmen after the Prime Minister's Eid give distribution ceremony among the poor at Silet's Kadim Nagar Union. The minister said some local and foreign powers are working to prevent countries from progressing. The foreign minister said there may be complaints against the government, but conspiracy against the country is not right.